this is the situation. I'm down six with two minutes to go. If I go down the field, take up all the time off the clock and score a touchdown, I win the game. On the next play though, For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another gameplay video for you guys today. And today I'll be going over one of my favorite offenses in a gameplay that goes down to the very last play. So stick Woo! around for that. But as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Before getting into the gameplay, though, I just want to walk you guys through my process. Typically, before I make my video, I go into practice mode and I lab a bunch of things. The formation I'm going to use in today's video is going to be the Wing Flex Close. If you've been watching my channel for a while, this might look familiar to you. I put some plays out from this not too long go the number one run play without that is going to be the speed option you can see i average almost 12 yards a carry and this play hasn't changed this is still gonna be my number one run play the play that has changed and got passed earlier in the year was the pa flood this was a one play touchdown against most defenses but it's since been passed so i had to find a replacement play and i didn't have to look too far the pa booty wide sale i like booty is going to be my replacement play my one play touchdown against every single defense in the game it wasn't too difficult to find one play touchdown against defenses like tampa too that was pretty simple all i really had to do was block the a route put the x route on a slant and the b route's a very easy one play touchdown against cover two you probably need a little bit of a fast receiver i mean i have a 95 speed receiver running this but you can see it's over the top of the safety pretty quick cover two man is pretty much the exact same setup with the exception of you have to motion out the b route and then everything else is the same you still slant the x route the a route you still have to block and we're still gonna have the exact same success you can't do this uh, without motioning him out he'll typically run to the safety but if you motion him out you can see once again it gets past that cover two safety we have another easy one play touchdown against cover three though i had a lot of issues i could not find a one play touchdown against cover three and cover three is one of the most commonly used defenses so i really can't go into a gameplay without a cover three one play touchdown and expect this offense to work it got so bad that i eventually actually tried the old play even though i know that it was patched nope so it got to the point where i almost thought maybe i can't use this but i'm gonna try cover four first see if it hits a home run against cover four regular and cover four match cover four was pretty easy all i really had to do was block both tight ends put the x route on a drag and it was an easy one play touchdown although it's not the biggest window you'll see that the b route here does get past the cornerback and it's it's an option for a one play touchdown so that works a lot of people don't run cover four anyway cover four match was a very easy one typically cover four match all you have to do is have some comeback routes or some curls i just put the two tight ends and curl routes that's all you really have to do you can slant the x route or do any number of things but the tight ends and curl routes will essentially be the only thing you need to do and then the b route here you can see it's pretty much in a one-on-one -on -one with the safety and he just gets right past it so cover four quarters is a pretty easy play but i still need to go back and get a play for cover three but it wasn't until i almost gave up that i realized that if I motion across this X route here that this might be a one play touchdown against cover three and sure enough it was as this X route does a terrific job of holding down the outside cornerback and letting the B route get open right over the top once again so we have our cover three one play touchdown let's go ahead and let's get right back into the gameplay my first opponent appears to want to play like a chode loser and he's kicking onside kicks from the jump I mean I hate people to do this it's just stupid like try to play like a real NFL team I'm so sick of these people and sure enough the first defense we see is going to be a cover three you can tell it's a cover three because the cornerbacks are playing just a little bit wide of the receivers if they were lined up straight in front of the wide receivers there's probably be a cover one man but based off the fact that they're kind of wide and lazy it lets me know it's a cover three so we're going to do our cover three setup right out the gate as you can see i make my motion i i know from practice mode that this is going to work i know a lot of people when i used to do videos in practice mode they said that you know it only works in practice mode well guess what if it works in practice mode, it works in gameplay too. And on the very first play, we get an easy one play touchdown against cover three. As you can see, I was right. My opponent was in cover three and we're up seven, nothing on the very first play of the game. This gameplay doesn't last very long though. Cause like I said, my opponent playing like a moron throws the ball up and we're coming the other way with an interception. This is only the second pass of the game, but my opponent's seen enough as he's going to quit. See ya. The next game is going to be a lot better though. This is a real sweaty. The only adjustment I'm going to make is I always want to make sure that I have my number one receiver right here because this is the home run spot. I didn't really mention my four play audibles. The halfback zone week is going to be my best inside runner. There's a couple more. This one's going to be my favorite. My second audible is going to be the speed option, which I did mention is still the best run play in this formation. It's going to be the one that I use the most. And then I'm still going to use uh, the PA flood as a good pass play. This is a very good man beating play, very good cover two zone play. I don't use it much in this video. My last audible is going 
going to be the jet pass fake zone. This is a very good play against man coverage. And then, of course, the star of this show is going to be the PA booty wide sale. I like booty. On the first play, I can tell right away my opponent is in a man coverage. Anytime there's not a cornerback over here, it's because he's on the other side with the two receivers. It's going to be best in those scenarios to switch over to the jet sweep. And it looks like I would have had the edge too, but Harrison Smith just flies right around the corner and knocks me down. On the next play, I try to go with the speed option. And once again, Harrison Smith is just making plays. So the first two plays don't work out. It just knocks me back to a third and 15. Uh, but I'm trying to run a hurry up because he's in man coverage and I want to keep him in that because I know that these are very good man routes. On the very next play, it turns out he must be running like a man zero because I'm under immediate pressure. Run, bitch. I roll out though, hit that crosser, and we almost score on the next play as we only had one man to beat. Once again, like I said, keeping that hurry up going. I want to keep him in this defense. I want to keep him in this man coverage on the next play. Once again, we have that slant. And we're going right down the field. He eventually gets out of that defense, forces me to a third and 11, and I make a poor read where I couldn't see the safety, to be honest with you, in the middle of the purple end zone. Nope. So I have to take the field goal, but I'll take that. On the next series, my opponent is a very pass-heavy player, and on the second play is his drive. Got I basically cut that off, and we're going the other way with a nice user lurk. I don't know if he meant to throw that to that area or what, but we're starting off pretty good as we're inside the red zone. On the first offensive play of this series, I hit him with that speed option one more time because the pitch animations you get are ridiculous. <laughs> That went about 10 yards, and then it's just hitting the burners, and I beat this guy with a bad angle as we get a touchdown to go up 10 0. Now, that's where all the fun stops, though. As we get up 10 0, my opponent starts hitting me with this wheel route to the running back over and over. This particular play here, this concept, the mesh spot has got to be his favorite concept in this entire game. He knows to run the ball more than a handful of times, but you can see he just basically hits me with a lot of crossers and a lot of wheel routes to the running back. As he goes right down the field, I get into a third and nine, but then once again, I mean, he's just, you know, I don't know if he playmaker that guy or what. That route just looks super weird. As this guy's really a high-level passer, you can see here he's beating my cover three underneath. That was a flat route that once it got to the sideline, it just stopped. I mean, he had a lot of really high-level routes and passing concepts like right here once again as he nails that wheel route between two what? defenders i don't know what i could do to cover that he goes for two which he does pretty much most of the game and on this next play he's this just in time to get an interception and we're going the other way we're gonna make him pay for that he could go all the way that's right that's right so even though I let him score, I feel pretty good about it now that I'm up six. On the next series, though, I make a lot of poor reads. I thought he was in a cover four quarters. You can see I make the wrong setup. And, I mean, we're just not having a very good series. As I didn't mean to throw it to that guy. Luckily, that wasn't intercepted. For whatever reason, I decide to go for it on fourth and five. I mean, I thought worst case scenario, I could just scramble for the first down with Lamar. But, nope. So we give our opponent ball in scoring range, and then the very next play, guess what he does? He hits that wheel route to the running back again. So he's going to take a one-point lead because he's actually going to kick the field goal this time. He also gets ball after half, which is not good for me. He's still hitting those short routes against my cover three and then making something happen. I, mean, I guess when you have Dalvin Cook catching that ball. Then on the next play, I switch out to a cover two just once. Just one time I switch to a cover two, and he hits me right over the top with a one-play touchdown. I mean, like I said, this guy here is a very high-level player. On the two-point conversion, though, he's going right back to that wheel route. And I've seen enough of that wheel route. I'm not going to let that happen anymore. Gotcha, we're bitch. picking that off. We're user lurking that. We're going going the other way luckily he doesn't have a faster quarterback a faster quarterback would have had that angle and we're going to the house and i'm feeling pretty good only down five on the next play though it was at this moment that he knew he up we get our first stupid animation of the game and you can see right here it puts me in a really bad spot so on the next play hits me with an end around and he just barely gets in i don't even know if that animation should have got in but he's going up two touchdowns he's going to go for two one more time which he's done pretty much this entire game on the next play it looks like the exact same play only this time he hits it and we're down two scores so we have to score pretty quickly you can see this game is getting out of hand i mean there's not a lot of time left you can see my screen shaking i hit him with that cover three one play touchdown because i do think think he's in a cover three look and sure enough i'm not sure if he was or not but this does work as you can see we do get up the scene we just don't get going he just catches us before we get that touchdown which is fine though because we did flip the field and like i said we definitely have to uh we have to score quickly so i'll be happy just taking tight ends and crossers and stuff like that run 
And then we're going to keep her on that hurry up. We have to score fast. I can't be in a position where my opponent can just basically squeeze the air out of the ball. So scoring is important, but scoring quickly is even more important. On the next play, we're going to hit with that toss play one more time. Almost got the angle this time, but Harrison Smith, again, he's been a nightmare to try to run past. And I plan on hitting him with an inside run. Maybe we can punch it in without even getting touched. On the defensive side, though, I mean, we're basically a fourth quarter. I have to stop this guy from either getting too much time off the clock or kicking a field goal. I mean, if he kicks a field goal, that's game. I mean, I'm pretty much to a point as we're four minutes left in the fourth quarter that if he can kill clock on me and kick a field goal, he pretty much guarantees himself the victory. As you can see right there, I mean, he basically starts getting to a point where it looks like he's just trying to run clock. No, nope. I'm going to basically go in a full run mode defense. Second and 11, though, I realize he's going to pass. I'm doing double Mabel concepts on both sides. We have to shut down these outside routes, and we're doing exactly exactly that and we almost get a covered oh, sack but he gets loose it. and I, I mean i try to use her to get the sack there barely gets it away on the very next play though i'm going to get that sack this time as we're pretty much just locking everything up out here this is the situation i'm down six with two minutes to go if i go down the field take up all the time off the clock and score a touchdown i win the game it's really that simple so we're going to start hitting them with some of those inside run plays like i said running the ball here is going to be key because i have all the confidence in the world that this offense can go down and punch it in on the next play i make my cover for one play touchdown adjustment again because I think that he's running that based on the fact that I'm running clock and sure enough I mean it doesn't work out like I expect but those two tight ends are just sitting there in the middle of the field so I'll take that get a nice easy catch and run we're already in field goal range with a minute 46 left on the next play I mean we're just gonna you know we're gonna keep going for these crossers I give myself uh, a nice little check down in the center of the field again because he hasn't really been covering that too much I mean I could have went a all these routes are pretty much open I, mean, I feel like he's running a prevent at this point just trying to keep me out of the end zone on the next play we're just gonna hit him with that toss play one more time I see that cornerback's a little bit close to the the way that I'm going so I motion a receiver across for the first time this entire video and sure enough it works perfectly he seals that block and we're punching it in I thought about not scoring I thought about running out of bounds just to kill more clock but I want to guarantee that touchdown on the kickoff since there's only like 30 seconds left I'm going to do a sky kick to the fullback which I typically only do when I'm trying to kill clock so 38 seconds left I do the sky kick my opponent must be worried about the clock too because he tries to let it go hoping for a touchback without losing any time but it does not as he has to pick it up on the two yard line <laughs> All he needs is a field goal, but I feel much better about stopping that now. On the very next play, I call a cornerback blitz who gets in pretty quick. And you can see I get stuck on the block, but I get off just in time to get an interception. And I thought about just going down once again, but no, we're going to take this touchdown. We're going to go for two because two would make it a nine-point game, a two-possession game. We're going right back to that toss play. I got nothing but faith in this play. And sure enough, this is an easy two-point conversion as we're punching it in. Three rushing touchdowns on that play and a two-point conversion. On the defensive side, like I said, now we don't really have to worry about it at all. He's trying to hit one-play touchdown. We're just getting, you know, covered sacks. Then on fourth and 15, we get another covered sack. And that's pretty much all she wrote. I'm not finished. With four seconds left, I could take a knee. But I decide to go for one more play because, to be honest, with you I haven't lost a game in a long time and I felt like for a while I was gonna lose this game so I really just did that for my own confidence so I'm gonna end the video there if you guys want to see more videos like this as always hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below